What is going on friends, we are back with another small one snake draft finals game. We have Axel 10 vs Siju Mas at this time. Axel's team is in the back at the moment, so he should win this for his team. Uh, looking at the teams real quick, I do think that the Salt West Tapu Bulo on Siju Mas side, because he's really weak to Specs Coco otherwise. Um, so it could be Scarf Greninja or Scarf Heatran, more so probably Scarf Greninja. Uh, but he also, it doesn't have to be, it could also be like Specs Battle Bond, because that would mean he has bullet punch, water shuriken, and potential e speed, triple priority, and a kind of a bulky backbone in Pax and Bulu. So it doesn't have to be Scarf, but I'm still thinking Scarf is the most, the set that makes the most sense. Uh, it's gonna be bulky. <coughs> Scissor with Defog and Roost. Mega Scissor, obviously. Uh, I, don't, I'm not, I don't have to talk about Pax. Pax is just fat. And then either Zemo Zygarde or Zemo Feature, and that's what I am thinking at least. Um, could also be Band Zygarde or Zemo, I'm not sure about that yet. Looking at Axel's team, it's either Scarfland or Scarfladi. Mega Ladi makes a bit more sense, it helps him check Heatran. I'm thinking it's either Zemo uh, Hoopa or Zemo Coco. I'm thinking more so Bandit Hoopa actually and then Zemo Coco. And yeah, probably. Like, it could be Scarf Lando, but if it's Scarf Lando, he's quite weak to Zygarde. He cannot switch into Zygarde well. So we do see a Greninja lead with a Landris lead. And even if he's Scarf Lando, he should switch out here in a Toxapex because he should scout for Greninja being Scarf. If he's, if Sidema is Scarf, he can go for U-turn or he can go for Spike. Uh, obviously not every Scarf Greninja carries Spike, so if he goes for Spikes here, we don't know yet if he's Scarf or if he's potentially Life or Protein, but we will see if he's Protein or if he's Battlebond if he goes for Spikes. If he goes for U-turn, confirming that it's Scarf, uh, Axel just goes Pex, makes the correct play, he ha obviously has to scout. Sidema can go into either Zygarde or Heatran here. If he goes to Heatran, that would scare off the Toxapex because Toxapex would lose when we run to Heatran with Mad Storm Torn and Earth Power. So if Heatran comes out, Axel has to switch into either Hooper or Ladi. And if Zygarde comes out, he's probably gonna go into Landorus. Those are the options here. Pretty much if he goes Tran, um, he goes Tran, okay. He can go for Rocks or Madness Storm here. Axel obviously is not gonna risk his own Tran. Yeah, like Hooper has really great Spadev, I think it might be able to take two Madness Storms, but if he has Mega Ladi with Earthquake, that's obviously the better play to make, right? I'm not sure, but it might even be Defog Ladi, which would help him. So uh, Sijuma gets up the rocks here. Uh, Sijuma is now gonna switch into either Scissor or Tapu Bulu, scouting for Earthquake, right? And Axel is either gonna Defog or... Um, if he has HP 5, that's a really great play for Axel here. Um, potentially hitting the scissor hard. That's if I'm Sijima, I would co definitely go in the Bulu here over scissor just in case this is HP Fire Mega Ladi. I know it's not common at all, but you should scout for it. Like, you have the tools, like Bulu pretty much covers Earthquake, covers Defog, and covers HP Fire. If it's if it, especially if it's AV Bulu, so I would have gone the Bulu instead. He goes to scissor, but it is Defog, so it's probably Defog recover, maybe Drake on Earthquake. So I guess I probably won't have HP Fire, but I still would have considered HP Fire. Uh, so Sidibar can now go for U-turn, Axel is either gonna go into Toxapex or Landris here. Uh, if he goes into Landris here, we will then see if he's Helmet or if he's, um, if he's Lefty's Helmet or if he's potentially Scarf Lando. From the U-turn damage we can probably also tell if he's Offensive Lando or not. So we will definitely get some information here. Axel's not gonna stay in, I mean at first I can, like I know he's most likely not HP Fire, but you still should consider it if you're Sidibar, right? So he goes into Landris on the most likely U-turn here, yeah. There's 11%, so I think this is some sort of offensive Lando. And he can now go into his um, Zy, not Zygarde, Greninja or Bulu. And so he can spikes here as Axel is either gonna go to Pex or Heatran. Both cover Ice Beam, U turn, and spikes. Um, so Heatran is either gonna spike or U turn again here. Axel needs this Landris. Uh, Mainly to check the Zygarde, that's um, the main thing he needs it for. Otherwise, it's nice for Heatran and for Pex, but Zygarde is, is a big threat to him. Sijuma knows that he needs it and U turns on the Pex, amazing play. The thing is, last time he already went to Trend, so I think this time he's gonna go Zygarde. Last time he went Trend and got Rocks up. So if he does the same play again, if he goes Trend and gets Rocks up, then Axel is gonna go Ladi and Defog again. It's kind of repetitive. Uh, I mean, it doesn't have to be repetitive, but it seems so. And if he goes into Zygarde, we don't know his set yet, but if he's banned Zygarde, that's a big threat for Axel's team because I think the Landorus is looking a bit more offensive because it took 11% from Scizor's U-turn. So it's potentially Scarf Landorus with um, 
maybe some HP investment because it took the U-turn a bit. Like I don't know yet. It depends on scissor spread. It might be his offensive land with some bulk investment. That's what I'm trying to say here. But we will know if he goes landers now from from how much he takes. We'll see. Um, so that is 37%. That's definitely choice Ban Zygarde. So defensive lander will take like 28 to 33, I think, from Bandit. So that's definitely some sort of offensive lander. But I'm thinking it's not fully offensive because fully offensive lander is, would take, I think, like 39 or 40%. So it's probably a, maybe bulky scarf lander with HP or defense investment. Um, so Siduma can go into Scissor here because Scissor covers all options. Covers U10 Earthquake and I don't know yet if he's rocks on Lando or rocks on Tren. We'll see that. He is rocks on Lando. Uh, Sijuma can just defog. Axel is. I think I'm thinking he's Scarf rocks Lando actually. Yeah. So he's forced to switch here. Um, Heatran or Pex. Uh, probably Heatran. Uh, Sijuma is just gonna defog, right? Okay. So now I'm Sijuma here. I would go on a Zygarde because. If you go Toxapex, you lose 1v1 with Magma Storm, Taunt, Earth Power. If you go Greninja, yeah, Greninja is another option, but it doesn't take it well at all. And Zygarde can take everything he wants to do. Um, Heatran can potentially Toxic it, but that's still fine. I mean, HP Ice would be the only thing that would hurt Zygarde, but that's not common on Heatran. And yeah, you don't go into your own Heatran and you don't risk that because he could potentially have Earth Power. I would overall just go into Zygarde, yeah. That's like the safest. You can really you can go Greninja if you want to keep your Zygarde more healthy because I don't think you necessarily need health on your Greninja. But Zygarde is just really great in this matchup. You, we can see the Landros is already weakened, so Landros can only switch in one more time to Zygarde. And since the Zygarde is most likely banned, it, the only other, other switch in Axel Tennis is the Ladi, which takes around, I would say, 60 or 70 from Bandit T arrows. So let's go to Toxapex, which I'm not the biggest fan of this play. Maybe he just decided um, that he doesn't want his packs. Maybe he just maybe he bricked a toxic. That's another option um, because Axel might have wanted to toxic break in the Zyga to come out. So I can see that, but it didn't work out for Sijuma, and he's gonna lose his toxic packs here. Axel can either taunt or off power here, and Sijuma is either gonna have to recover or skull here. Probably recover first um, to try and keep this healthy. Um, but there's this Spadaf drop, so even if the trend doesn't have taunt, this Pex is gonna lose to it when we won most likely. Of course, is gonna do a bit more than half with the Spadaf drop, so yeah, Pex is not gonna be able to eat up these hits. Uh, if he has taunt, he can go for it here, otherwise, you just spam off power. Pex is still trapped. And Sijuma is probably just gonna skull because, okay, he tries to recover again, but I mean, yeah, I can see why he tried, but at this point, He's gonna have to sack his Pex. I mean, Pex wasn't doing super much, but it could take a hit from certain mods. Like, it could potentially take Earthquake from Lando and then scold, try to scold burn it or weaken it for Zygarde, or it could Toxic it, put it on a timer. So, Pex had some usage. And so now he's gonna Zygarde or. Zygarde or Greninja are gonna come out. And you can just click Ban Thousand Arrows. And Axel is gonna either have to go Lando, which can only switch him one more time, or Ladi. And Ladi would take a lot from it, obviously. But since Mega Ladi gets a bit more bulk, like it has more bulk than regular Ladi, it obviously can take it. Like a regular Ladi would almost die to ban arrows, but Mega can at least um, it takes like 60, 70. I don't know the exact calc. Can I head calc? But yeah, Sijuma has no reason to click anything other than T arrows. <clears throat> Axel is obviously not gonna switch in. Heatron is amazing for um, Scizor, for Bulu. And also for later in the game, potentially toxic in the Zygarde. Um, but he should off power on the Magma Storm. He should have rocks on Lando, so his last move is probably toxic. So he goes in the Ladi, and he does take 66. <laughs> so now, Sijuma is most likely gonna go to Scissor. Axel can either recover to keep this healthy, or he can um, double out um, into either Pex, Heatran, or Hooper. If he doubles Hooper on the Scissor, that would mean he most likely has Fire Punch. He can also double Heatran on the Scissor. That would mean he puts more offensive pressure on Sijuma. Like if Axel 10, yeah, he can play defensively, but if he plays it offensively, um, yes, then he doesn't have switch ins to Zygarde anymore, but he puts a lot of pressure on Sijuma. And I think Lando can still switch him one more time. I said that right, yeah. So even if Zygarde comes in again, it's not the end of the world for Axel. And by putting offensive pressure, that would that would definitely be a good good option here. So I can see him, like I said, recovering or doubling. So he doubles in the Heatran, trying to predict or like predict the scissor, not trying to. Amazing play by Axel. And Sijuma is gonna be forced to go in a Zygarde. So either Magma Storm or Toxic are gonna come out here from Axel's side. 
Yeah, I'm not sure why I didn't go Zygarde the first time. Like, I get that effect with Pax, or he cannot break the Toxic, maybe. So now it's just gonna Thousand Arrows, the Lando's gonna barely take it. <coughs> Lando's most likely gonna U-turn here. If Zygarde stays in, um... Axel might have... He can either go Hoopla, yeah, if Zygarde stays in, he can go Hoopla, but c is most likely gonna switch. Cause Zygarde is still nice for him. But overall, Axel's in a better position. <coughs> U-turn is fine here for Axel. I forgot if Hooper outspeeds Zygarde. I think Zygarde outspeeds Hooper, so Hooper would get 2 hit killed. So if Sijuma stays in here, I think he would get a kill with Zygarde. But he would have to take U-turn poison damage. Like 2 rounds of Toxic, because Zygarde does not Oko anything that comes in other than Ladi, most likely, because of the Intimidate. Coco might also die, but everything else, um, like Pex and Hooper mainly, he turn will obviously die. But Pex and Hooper will probably take it, is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I'm thinking he's just gonna switch to Scissor. Scissor can take everything. And if Scissor comes out um, on a U-turn here, yeah. We will see either the Heatran or the Coco come out here. So we see the Heatran. And I think Axel just clicks Magma Storm because um, you don't want to let the Zygarde come in for free. Off power is another option. Um, because, like, you can either go Gren or Zygarde. Okay, he goes Gren. He off power that would have done more to Zygarde and also covered the Heatran play. Um, so you must probably force to U turn here, breaking the packs. But I could see him trying to catch. At this point, Sidiuma kind of has to bank on Axel misplaying, I think. And. I guess he could go for Hydro Pump or Low Kick, depending on what his coverage is to hit Heatran. And hope that Axel stays in. Because if Axel just goes packs and. If Axel goes Pax on a U-turn, Zagat then gets a kill, so I could see Axel staying in trying to break the U-turn. But Axel is in a better position, so even even if the, the Zagat comes in on, on the Pax with a U-turn, Axel can then just sack his Landorus or his Ladi. I don't think... I guess he wants to keep the Ladi if it has off kick for the U-turn. But like, Axel doesn't lose much by going Pax, so I would still go Pax, so he stays in on a low kick. I mean, he can take it barely, but yeah, I feel like I would have gone Pax there, like he didn't lose much like I said. Like he could have just sacked something if Zygarde comes out. I feel like that would have been fine for him. And now he can either go to Pex or Coco. Coco can eat low kick because Greninja is locked in the low kick. And CD1 might double here, break then Toxapex and go into Zygarde. Yeah, exactly. But if he goes Coco or the, uh, Coco or Pex is a coming out, yeah. So he just go Coco, which is an amazing mid ground play basically because it covered the low kick and it covered the double into Zygarde. You can now threaten the Zygarde with a dazzling gleam. Um, he did show leftovers. We don't know the hoop, but yeah, either the hoop or this is the Zima viewer. We don't know that yet, right? Um, expecting Sijuma to switch into his Bulu here. Um, so this is an option, but most likely Bulu is gonna come out. So he doubles into a uh, Hooper here. Amazing play again. So can, he can either go for Fire Punch or Gunk Shot now. So Sijuma shouldn't stay in because if he loses his Bulu, he loses to Coco, I think, if he loses his Bulu. So if I'm Sijuma here, I go... The thing is, what if it's Fire Punch Hooper and you go Scissor and you get blown away? So I guess I would maybe go Heatran if I'm Sijuma. Depending on Sijuma's set, I'm thinking he's Z-Move Heatran at this point because he's confirmed Bandit Zygarde. If he's Z-Move Heatran and he goes into the Heatran on a Fire Punch, Z-Move might kill the Hooper, but I don't like that, he just sacked his Bulu. Like, either Fire Punch or Gunk Shot, one of the two was pretty obvious there. Um, so he should have gone either Scissor or Heatran. But at this point, Exultan has this game in the back. He goes in the trend, gets his rocks up, it's, he switches up moves, so... What is he, what is this Hooper? Like, it could still be Z-Move, but... That type of space did a lot, so... It's definitely offensive Heatran, as it is Z-Move. In front of Overdrive, Hooper's gonna eat that up and kill him with the... The Hooper snacked that up. I'm not sure though what the what the item is. It could be maybe Black Glass Hooper because that hyperspace should should only do like 70 to Heatran um, to offensive Heatran. It's not banded and it's like it has to be some sort of damage boosting item. I think. Yeah, so now you can obviously go into um, Scissor or Zygarde. 
But this game is over, Axel Ten just wins this. So Zygarde is gonna click Thousand Arrows. Um, Thousand Arrows also doesn't get weakened by Grassy Terrain, which has great synergy with um, Bulu's terrain, because if he had Earthquake it would be bad synergy, obviously. And he can now go into his Coco. Oh, Lari, okay, Lari works. And he can either Defog or Recover. So at this point, I'm thinking he's Zemo of Coco because his Hooper was definitely some sort of damage boost. I'm not sure which one. Maybe Muscle Band, maybe Black Lattice. I don't know. Because, like, my phone calc says it should have done a little bit less. So just defox and now the Zyga takes another round of Toxic. Um, Coco can definitely kill us with Dazzling Gleam even if it's not Specs at this point, which it's most likely Z move, like I'm say like I said. He goes Landris, he can just click off quick here. A uh, U-turn. U-turn is actually fine. Um, yeah, I feel I feel like Coco would have been fine there, I'm not sure why I went to Landris, but I guess he's just gonna off quake. It doesn't matter to like Axel wins with Coco at this point. Because Greninja um, has to lock itself into um, like an Iron or Gunk Shot to kill Coco, and then Axel can always go Pax. And Axel has more sacks, so it doesn't really matter. Even if you Earthquake there, the Scissor would have gone weak. U turn is obviously fine, but Axel was just in a better position. So he can now either go Heatran or like. If he's Gigavolt Havoc, he can also go Coco. Hmm. But it depends on Axel's team. If he has Fire Punch on Hoopa, he's not that weak to Ferrozone. I'm thinking. I'm trying to see if he's. I'm thinking. Trying to think if he's HP Ice or HP Fire Coco. I think it depends on if he has Fire Punch on his Hoopa. So he goes in the Coco. He's either gonna Gigavolt Havoc or HP Fire. That's the only reason why you would make that play, right? Um, so Sijuma might think that this is Specs Coco and this might be a 50-50, but not sure. He goes Zyga thinking that it's um, he breaked in Gigavolt Havoc or Death and Gleam. Uh, Axel goes for Hidden Power, so it's definitely Hidden Power Fire. And now Axel just sacks something. Probably sacks the Lando here. Oh no no no, he's Z-Move, what am I saying? Yeah, I tweaked there. I tweaked there, I even said it Z-Move. But I thought, yeah, for a second I thought it was Gigavolt having, you know, Z-Death and Z-Twinkle Tackle. So Axel played this like fire. And um, he obviously just switches out here. Like, you don't risk your Kogo. It doesn't matter, but like, by going packs, exactly. You don't lose anything. And now the Greninja is locked into spikes. So Axel can double into Heatran here or into Coco. Because Sijuma is either gonna go Scissor or if he stays in, he's locked into spikes. And if Coco comes or Heatran come out, yeah, amazing. There, yeah, the game is over. Because we know this is HP Fire, Coco. He just clicks HP Fire. I don't know if Greninja is gonna be able to live that, even if Greninja lives it. Axel then just goes back into his packs and the game ends. So he gets a crit that didn't matter, obviously. It wouldn't have killed, pretty, I think, but it didn't matter. And Axel, I think the score is even now. I think it's 4 4, I'm not 100% sure. He has to Ice Beam, but yeah, Greninja couldn't lock itself into a move that kills everything. Yeah, they didn't even kill, wow, I'm surprised. Greninja weak. Probably more attack invested, because Low Kick did a good amount to trend. Thank you guys for watching, and. You can expect more Smog 1 2 uploads in the next days. Um, depending on how much time I have. Yeah, it was a cool game, man. Like. <laughs> it's crazy, because, like, the first games. Um, the Bushmasters always had like um, Heatran that put in work with the I forgot the other name. Wait, is this the Pit Vipers? Dude, I don't know. I've I mixed up the team names, but pretty much um, like the team that Axel is on. Last time, um, Femin also brought a Heatran versus Cory and put in the work, and the game before that, I think Eternal Spirit brought a Heatran and put in work with his opponent, and now Heatran again put in work. Yeah, thank you guys for watching, have a fantastic day. Smash that like button if you want to see more and peace out friends.